people used to ask Gene, you know, how to, yeah, did you expect it to get this big even with the first show? And he'd say, just as I planned it, you know, because obviously no one can plan that kind of thing. But I think this actually is this rebirth, this amount of Star Trek um, is just what he planned, actually, or hoped for. You know, my father had an incredible career, uh, fought in World War II, was a member of the LAPD. Um, you know, I think he really saw the, the, the worst of humanity and, of course, hopefully the best of humanity. He saw diversity all around the world. And I think it gave him tremendous perspective. And, uh, I mean, every time I say this, it sounds like obviously everyone knows this, but to, to, to have the opportunity to travel around the world and experience different cultures and talk to people and get unique and different points of view... That's how we grow and evolve intellectually. And that's what Star Trek was about. It was about a species, us, going out to the universe, not finding weird looking aliens, but finding different creatures that looked at the universe in a different way because we knew from those different perspectives we could grow and evolve intellectually. And um, that, that, that really is what Star Trek is about. But that's what humanity should be about. That's what we're about. And it's easy for me to preach this. It's hard to do. Trust me, it's hard to do. But if we can work that into our lives a little bit, we will... And we have, to a degree, uh, have a better future. Strange New Worlds is hitting all cylinders in the world of Star Trek, for, for me, in my opinion. I think that, um, you know, some people have differences, even within the Star Trek world, of what they like or, or like a little less. I think when it comes to Strange New Worlds, for uh, those of the old guard and the new for those who are looking for that optimism, but also that adventure, you know, it really seems to be that overall player on the field that can kind of do anything in that way. And I think that whether it be the tone, it has some really fun episodes, it has some very deep episodes, it's saying something um, with its with its episodes. It's just seemed to be like working on all cylinders for people. And I think that that overall is really what's bringing it to this, you know, this this uh, reception that it's getting. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. With all my heart, genuinely, I think you'd be very proud. Um, the 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 a lot of the new Star Trek is is certainly more real. The 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 budgets are incredible. The the quality uh, of of filmmaking is is enormous for for a television show. Um, even our animated shows are through the roof in terms of quality. Um, so I'm, I'm, I know he would be incredibly proud of, of what they are. Um, and uh, the fact that each show is really different. I mean, each show is really different. I have some that I'm like, ooh, that's a little dark for me, I don't know. And others that I, that the animated shows, I thought, all right, I'm not sure how Star Trek's gonna play out in animation again. Blown away, absolutely blown away uh, by the animated shows. Um, so I'm really proud of the shows and I know my father would, would probably be shocked as well as as uh, how well they are uh, portraying Star Trek. I think Gene has always or always intended from what we have seen in interviews and, and knew that this was something that he was going to be continuing to give, you know, well beyond himself, that it was sort of like something that he had hoped other people would pick up and continue on. Um, past him. He literally said it in, uh, yeah. in an interview. Yeah. And I think that, um, you know, it's funny, people used to ask Gene, you know, how to, yeah, did you expect it to get this big even with the first show? And he'd say, just as I planned it, you know, because obviously no one can plan that kind of thing. But I think this actually is, this rebirth, this amount of Star Trek um, is just what he planned actually or hoped for. Well, this is where I hand it off to you. Yeah. I mean, I can't say specifically uh, where, you know, obviously a, a lot of things, um, but I think that Star Trek um, continues to expand. I think that, um, first off, the ways that you can engulf media these days are enormous. Um, so I think that continuing to see what else is out there from that perspective when it comes to Star Trek is, is something we look forward to. I think that... Um, you know, uh, again, I you know we hearken back to Gene quite a bit, but it's with good reason. When people asked him, "Are you always ever afraid you're going to run out of story?" he said, "We've got the whole galaxies of galaxies, so absolutely not." And I think that that's true for shows as well. I think we have a lot more story to tell that fit within you know the the caverns of canon, but also 
push canon outward as well and uh, and tell stories that uh, that we didn't know may have existed. Um, and I think that's that's where we hope to go. And, and quickly, if I can jump in, I, I do think there's the opportunity to break new ground. I mean, we went from traditional television with commercials and those sorts of things to things like Netflix and YouTube and, and so many different formats. I, I, I don't think that's, that's done. I do think there are a lot of new formats for television or for content, for media, for entertainment to come out. Um, and I, I do think we've, on some level, only scratched the surface because with the new technologies, with the new formats out there, there's a huge opportunity to take old and new uh, and, and reformat it and put a new skin on it and bring it back out. And I don't mean that in a sense of uh, just rehashing the old. I just think there are new ways to tell some old stories and some new stories uh, that we'll be seeing hopefully, I think, in the next decade or so. Uh, I feel, I can't. Um... I'm going to say it. <laughs> Go ahead. Well. So it's there's a lot of different ways, and I'll keep it really short here. I, I was brought up with the next generation, and I think a lot of us are going to go harken back to what is our what we were brought into this world with in terms of Star Trek, at least. And mine was the next generation. I will still say the next generation. I absolutely love Prodigy. There is something about Prodigy was the one where I scratched my head, and I'm like, I don't know how this is going to actually happen. I don't I don't know how this is going to be Trek, and I'm totally blown away by how it is the fact that we've got these non-Starfleet characters, these, these aliens, these people from different walks of the universe, and, and they truly are bringing us into sort of what the Star Trek ideology is. And, and I really love that. Strange New World is fantastic. I think it's just next gen because that's just what I was brought up with. It's like having your favorite doctor on yeah. Doctor Who, I think. Not to say anything else is bad. I'm just saying there's a near and dear part of that to me. It was formative years for us. It, it was is. formative yeah. years. Yeah. So You don't want to say next generation? <laughs> you said it. You said, said it. Oh, oh, oh I said I it. Yeah. <laughs> you can, okay. Um, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a legacy, a tradition that is continuing into today's world. And so, so, uh, so thankfully so. If you go back to the original series, you can see the power of representation um, for those, uh, um, you know, diverse people that were on the bridge and the power that that led to for inspiring people and, and encouraging people and, and giving them that, that feeling of empowerment. Today, um, everything we do on that front is just sort of those next steps of that same mission because we've seen the benefit of it. We've seen um, how good that could be. And I think that from that standpoint, we continue to push, you know, what can that mean in today's world? Um, who have we not uh, allowed to be represented previously that we can now, um, you know, do better? And what can we do also behind the camera and in other areas of production? Um, you know, for when it comes to casting, I give so much credit to our, our casting directors. They are amazing. And really, um, the idea behind, you know, the decisions to be, you know, hey, let's make sure we cover this off in a way that we really feel good about. Um, because we really want everyone to see themselves in Star Trek. I think that's one of the key components is to be able to access it. So we're trying to make good um, on that more and more.